Hi, I'm Michael, and I'll take you through a series of poses today. But first, why don't we just uh, try to uh, relax a little bit. And I'll try to take you through all the elements of a really good program that you can do at home and follow along. So hopefully you're in some comfortable clothes, and if you want to drag in another family member, maybe your spouse who never did this before, bring them in. What else do you have to do? So, put the rain down, stop wiping the countertops, and let's get on with our program. So what I'd first like everybody to do is learn to relax. I'm going to ask you to lay down on your mats, and I'll show you what the perfect Savasana pose looks like. This is the most difficult thing any of us could possibly master. And once you do, your body will reach a profound state of relaxation. And once you're relaxed, all the cells in the body begin to heal and restore themselves. Perfectly natural thing to do, but very, very hard thing to do. So why don't we just come down on our mats, lay down in Savasana pose. And in Savasana, you allow your feet to be the width of the mat or wider, Palms are up, relaxed along the side of the body. Palms are facing up. Begin to raise and lower your hips and just find that comfortable spot where you feel the entire spinal column grounded to the earth. What I do is I gently move my fingers down, move my shoulder blades around a little bit, and now I feel like I'm completely grounded to the earth. Let the toes fall to the side, this opens up the hips. Begin to try to quiet my mind. Very difficult. So what I do is I focus on my breath. And I begin to notice all the parts of the body that move with the inhale of breath. The rib cage rises and falls, expands and contracts with each breath. Especially now, I try to draw on the air, new life and energy in the breath, all the way up to the column, to the highest lobes of the lungs. And I stay here for a few moments, and I breathe deep to the collarbone, and I exhale the navel to the spine completely. So we're going to stay here for a few moments, and just notice all the parts of the body that move, notice the temperature in the air as it enters and exits the body, and begin to relax. center of the earth, energizing the body. It's called earthing. Transfer of energy from the center of the earth into all the cells in the body. Recharging the body. A few more breaths. Now you could pause this video and take this breathing exercise for as long as you want. I'm just demonstrating here how you could begin to relax the body. For every practice, try this during your day, whenever you have a moment or two, lay down, savasana pose. And one more thing we're going to do right now is what I call 426 breathing. So let's all now deepen the breath, inhale to the count of four to the highest lobes of the lungs, directly under the collarbone. Gently hold the breath there for two counts, and then exhale completely for six counts. Making the exhale breath longer than the inhale breath begins to slow your heart rate and relaxes your nervous system. Let's go together, four to six breathing for a few rounds, and then you can continue it for as long as you want, and then come back to the video. After a few rounds of four to six breathing, just observe how the body feels. Notice the back of the body in contact with the earth, pulling energy in, all parts of the back of the body in contact with the earth. Relax.
And now that we did a few moments of mindfulness and breathing, observing how the body feels, let's begin to warm up. Let's bring our feet together, reach our hands towards the wall behind us, and take a full body stretch. Point and flex the toes, whatever feels good, and try to keep the arms and the back of the hands in contact with the earth. As much as you can during this program, pull energy in from the center of the earth and breathe for the highest lows of the lungs. Take your right hand, hold on to your left wrist, and gently pull the left arm towards the wall behind. And then the upper body over to the right. Keep the feet together and feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Let's learn how to control the breath. And use your mind to think about the space between the ribs on the left side of the body. Inhale and exhale into that space. Feel the stretch. More breaths. Let's inhale back to center. Change our hands. Left hand to the right wrist. Gently pull the right arm towards the wall behind. And then the upper body over to the left. Feel the stretch on the right side. Inhale and exhale into the space between the ribs on the right side. Breathe. Inhaling back to center. Let's interlace our fingers, pushing our knuckles towards the wall behind and point the toes towards the wall in front. Stretch. Breathe. Change your hands. Now push your palms towards the wall behind. Feel the stretch in the upper arms and the wrists. And slide your heels forward. Stretch the back of the legs. Breathe. Gently release the hands and hug the knees into the chest. Your sacrum is the lowest part of your spinal column, tilted forward and down. And now, holding on to the knees, draw circles in the sky, first five in one direction, very slow. Keep your eyes closed so you can go deep inside your body and just feel the sensations in the lower back, feel the release of all the tension. Let it go. And after five, change direction to the other side. Massage the kidneys. All good things happen. Now is the time to be good to yourself. And just remember that everything we do in yoga strengthens the bones, moves every muscle and every joint, and most important, gives a tremendous boost to your immune system. And gently come back to center. Let's put our legs out straight, arms alongside the body, with the palms facing down, the whole back of the body in contact with the earth. Let's just do a few rounds of alternate leg raises. When I say so, we raise the right leg like this, with the sole of the foot up to the sky. On hum, gently lower the leg. Don't drop it. And then we go to the left side. So, hum. So everybody together. So, right leg. Breathe in, exhale from the lower abdominal area. Hum, lower the leg. So, hum. So, hum. So, Hum, so, hum, so, hum, two more, so, hum, so, hum, so, hum, so, hum. So, hum. Take a resting breath if you wish. Four, two, six, breathe in. Inhale, four. Suspend the breath for two. Exhale for six. Now, double leg raises. Let's sit on the back of our hands to protect the lower back if you wish. Lengthen the 
legs. When I say so, raise the soles of the foot up to the sky. And then hum, lower the legs slowly and let them hover four inches above the earth, above the mat, for four seconds. So, inhale up, hum, and hover. So, hum, so, hum, so, hum, so, hum, and hover four inches above the earth for ten seconds. Okay? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees into the chest and raise the chin, nose, and forehead up as close as you can without any pain or strain. Lower the head. Take your hands and interlace them behind your neck. With your thumbs, massage the neck. The upper part of the shoulders, release any tension you may be feeling. Keep the knees up, keep the elbows grounded to the earth. And now, just imagine you're able to ride an incumbent bicycle and we're going to push our heels into the wall in front. The heels, not the toes. And just imagine, with each push of the heel, you're knocking down obstacles in life that prevent you from achieving your goals. Whatever it is, perfect health, strength, so let's get going, ride our bicycles. Breathe into the lower abdominal area. And what we're, move, we're moving now is energy from the lower part of the body to the upper part, from your physical body to your spiritual. Keep going, a few more miles. You know, when I teach this class normally, I don't usually do the warm-up exercises. Maybe I should. These are not too, too easy. This is a good workout. For those who are athletes, the kids at home, high school kids, this is the Yoga for Athletes program. So get down on the mat next to your parents. Let's go. Two more miles. When you're ready, come to a gentle stop. Hug the knees into the chest, simply to reset. Roll from side to side. And then back to center. I'm going to do a few bridges. First, we're going to do some rolling bridges. And if you have a block at home or a cushion, take a cushion or a block, put it between your knees, and bring the soles of your feet down to the earth. Reach your hands towards your ankles, move them in, and make sure your ankles are no wider than the width of the block and no closer. So once again, when I say so, we're going to raise the hips up to the sky, sweep the arms up, and reach towards the wall behind. Squeeze the block, squeeze your butts. Strengthens the lower back. On hum. Push the air out with your arms, exhale, lower the hips down to the earth. Everyone together. So, squeeze, hum, exhale. So, hum, so, hum, so, hum. Hum, so, hum. And now for a full bridge. Move your heels closer into the body. Make any adjustments you feel you need to make. Reset the block or your cushion. And now for a full bridge. In full bridge, you push down on the soles of your feet, your forearms and palms, and you raise the hips up to the sky. And we're going to take five full breaths, breathing to the highest lobes of the lungs, directly under the collarbone, the cellular breathing. Breathe into every cell in the body. See the cells expand with the inhale breath and contract with the exhale breath. Everyone ready? Inhale up. 
Push down on the earth, raise the hips up to the sky. Some of you may want to interlace your hands and push your forearms down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, come up a little higher. Breathe to the highest lows. Let's take five full cellular breaths. One more breath. Slowly come down under control. Relax the lower back, reset the heels, move them closer, and we're going to do one more bridge. Take a resting breath, and everyone together, full bridge, push up, the hips, push down on the earth with the soles of the feet, forearms and palms. Interlace the hands, walk your shoulders together, raise the hips up. Breathe to the highest lows. Take five cellular breaths. And slowly come down. Put the block aside or a pillow. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll from side to side. Whatever feels good. And from here, we're going to do an inversion called the sleeping tiger. And if you have the block or a pillow and you want to put it underneath the sacrum, the lowest part of the spinal column, you can do that. This helps stabilize you, especially if this is the first time you're introduced to yoga poses. This helps you stay up. The soles of the feet are facing the sky. Arms up, palms facing each other. And you stay here quietly, without moving. Make sure your shoulders and shoulder blades are in contact with the mat. Close your eyes. And we'll do some color visualizations which balance the frequency in the body, balance the energy. And just imagine the most beautiful daytime blue sky colors. Turquoise, cobalt blue aquamarine colors and draw that color into the throat region and see it glowing there the size of a candlelight. This helps purify, tone, and cleanse the thyroid and the parathyroid. Sky blue, perfectly still. Sleeping tigers. Breathe. Slowly come out of the pose, hug the knees into the chest, take the block out if it's underneath you, raise the hips, lower yourself down, roll from side to side, draw little circles in the sky with the knees, first in one direction, and then in the other direction, and then begin to rock from front to back, and come up onto all fours. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your palms. No. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your palms are directly underneath your hands. Okay. Tuck your toes. Your knees are directly underneath your hips. Just imagine your arms are like the lollipops in your basement, holding up the house. Take a few moments here and just feel the energy vibrations coming from the center of the earth. Let that vibration travel through your palms, up your forearms, upper arms, across your shoulder blades, energizing the spinal column from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Keep your toes tucked. Now let's do a few cat and cows. And cat and cows are the most underrated yoga pose. They help lengthen the spinal column, create space between the vertebrae. Let's put the block aside so you can see. 
And now, two cat cows. Inhale, the chest and chin forward. Drop the belly. And just bring your attention to the spinal column. And notice, as we move, notice the way the spinal column is moving and creating space between your vertebrae. Exhale, round it back up to the sky, like a Halloween cat, over the head. Inhale up. Exhale down. And at your own pace, let's do a few rounds of cat and cats. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You feel it in the lower back. Feel the release of the tension, the anxiety, the stress. Let it vaporize away from the body. Let it go. Two more. Use your breath. Breathe. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down to a flat back, keep the toes tucked, and raise the left hand like you're shaking someone's hand, and that person's a little too far away to reach, so stretch. Look at the left thumb. Raise your right heel and push the right heel into the wall behind you. Raise the hand and the heel slightly. And every time you move now, keep looking at the left thumb. And with exhale, elbow to opposite knee. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Stay up, and now reach your left hand all the way around, hold on to the top of the right foot, square off your chest and chin with the front edge of your mat. Push up on the hand of the foot, raise the chest and the chin. Use your mind to control your breath. Think about the stretch on the right side. In the right hip. Your breath will follow. Breathe in, exhale into the right hip. Two more breaths. Exhale, release the hand and the knee down. Make sure it's directly under the shoulder. Right hand up, shake the hand. Person in the distance, left heel back. Stretch. This whole bird dog in. And then heel up. Exhale, elbow to opposite knee five times. And after five, and then heel up, reach around. Hold on to the top. Left foot, push up on the hand and the foot, square off the chest and the chin. Breathe. Into the left hip, the left thigh. Inhale sensations of relaxation. Remember what it felt like in the beginning of this program to be relaxed and savasana. Draw that feeling into the left hip. Exhale, release the whole tension. Let it go. Two more breaths. Under control, hand and knee down. Tuck the toes. Let's sit all the way back in our heels for a few moments. Walk the hands back. Heroes pose. I want you to really stretch out the bottom of the feet. This feels so good. Breathe. Sweep the hands forward to the front of the mat, tuck the toes, and let's come up to downward dog. Paddle out your legs and let your hips go from side to side. And when you're ready, settle into the pose. Push down on your palms, lengthen from your fingertips all the way through your arms, the whole back to the base of the spine. Raise the hips up, lower the head, and gently push the heels down to the earth, stretch the back of the legs. And as you begin to lengthen, notice the head come closer and closer to the earth. Hips up, head and heels down. If your hands begin to slide, move them back a little. My hands are just sliding a little. Two 
Two more breaths. Downward dog is a restorative pose. So right now we're actually helping the body restore itself. So when you stay, tremendous benefits to the body. Very slowly transition to plank. Straight line from the top of the head to the heels. Push your heels into the wall behind. Roll up onto the tip of your toes. And let's come up into upward dog. Now, if you're just beginning, you can drop your knees. If you can, raise your knees up. Bring the back of the heart forward. Stay here for a few moments. And now, a very slow transition back to downward dog. Hips up, head and heels down. Do a forward bend, so very slowly we're going to walk our feet towards our hands to the front of the mat. Bend your knees, let your chest be resting on your thighs. Now, you can hold opposite elbows in front like this, or you can raise your toes, put your fingers underneath your toes, bend your knees, relax, lower the head to the earth. Hang here like a rag doll for a few moments. Try not to tuck your chin so you're able to breathe. And release your elbows, release your fingers, and with your fingertips draw a half moon in front of you, sway from side to side. Feel it in the low back, loosening up. Back to center, head comes up last. Let's roll ourselves up, stacking our vertebrae, one on top of the other. This is fun, you can actually feel them clicking, stacking, you can count them. Very slow. Let's stand in mountain pose. In mountain pose, the top of the head is over the sacrum. Arms are alongside the body. I'm moving back and forth because I'm trying to get the bottom of my feet to feel like suction cups on the earth. And then I sway from side to side because I want to check in every morning just to see how well I'm balanced. And then I go back and forth like this, just rocking just to see how far I could go. And then I come back to center, stay in mountain pose for another moment. And in prayer. So before we do a few rounds of sun salutations, what I'd like everybody to do is open up with me with one home. And let this vibration ring out. It helps to clear all the nasal passages, stimulates all the bronchial airways, and it also sends energy throughout the entire planet. Something we all need. Everyone together. Inhale. of gratitude. In gratitude practice, we do this because at the end of our practice today, your bodies will be thanking you for spending time healing the mind, body, and spirit. And your body will be thanking you. And it's always good to recognize when the body is telling you thanks for doing something good to it. So everyone together, open your eyes, inhale up, push your fingertips to the sky. Hold the breath. Exhale, turn your palms to the outside wall and sweep the energy field clean. Full exhale breath. Pull new energy in. Inhale up. Hold. Turn the palms. Exhale, sweep it clean. Let new energy rush in, surrounding the body. New, clean energy. Inhale up. Hold. Turn the palms. Exhale, sweep it clean. Inhale up, hold, turn, sweep it clean. Last one. Inhale up, hold, and now turn your palms to the 
outside walls. Exhale the arms halfway down, and imagine you could breathe in through the right palm. Breathe new life and energy across the heart. Exhale through the left. And keep that going. Inhale right, across the heart. Exhale left. On your own for a few rounds. And push your palms like you're trying to prevent walls from closing in on you. Breathe to the highest lows. Feel the stretch under the arms, across the chest. Two more breaths. Open your eyes, turn your palms up. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale halfway down one more time. Push the palms and now rotate the arms. Small circles, pushing the palms. First, a few in one direction. Stop, change direction. Stop, arms up, inhale up, exhale down, and sweep the energy field clean. Loosen up the whole body. Come to a stop, all the way to the front of the mat. Everybody feeling good? By the way, you're all looking good. You didn't know, but I could see you too. So, watch what you're wearing. <laughs> Just kidding. Inhale up. Well, let me tuck this in here so I look skinnier. There we go. Inhale up. We're going to do a few rounds of sun salutations. The first one, very instructional, reach your fingertips towards the wall behind and push your hips forward. Your feet, like suction cups, once again, are out into the earth. Stretch. Breathe. On the exhale, reach your fingers towards the wall in front of you. Bend your knees and let your chest be resting on your thighs. Breathe. Don't tuck the chin. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, one more time. Very healthy thing to do. Inhale up, reach your hands towards the wall behind, hips forward. Exhale, reach forward and down. Breathe. On your fingertips, right foot all the way back, knee down. Breathe. Find your balancing points. The sole of the left foot, the right knee, the toes on the right foot. Make your adjustments. Whatever feels comfortable. Everybody is different. Two more breaths. Inhale. Let's retain the breath for plank. Palms down. Sweep the left leg back. Straight line from the top of the head to the heels. Breathe. Exhaling knees, chest, and chin. Elbows are alongside the body. Slide your chin forward, relax the top of the feet, raise your palms. This is baby cobra. Still warming up. Reset your palms directly underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes, forehead down, push up to your knees, hips up to downward dog. Lower the head, hips up, lengthen from your fingertips to the base of the spine. Push your heels down, stretch the back of the legs. Now here's a trick. We're only going to do it once. Roll up onto the tip of your toes, bend your knees, look between your thighs, inhale the right foot forward, left knee down. And if you're having trouble with that, go back and take your hand and hold it up the calf. And just help your right foot forward, whatever works. Left to meet the right. Inhale up, exhale crack. Whatever we do on the right side, we do on the left. Keep the body balanced. Inhale, exhale. Roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale. Left foot all the way back. On your fingertips, off your chest. Balance. We 
retain the breath for plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Feel your heart beating on the earth. Slide your chin forward, relax the top of the feet, bending over. Plant the palms, tuck the toes, lower the head, up to the knees, to down the dog. Use the trick. Left foot forward, right knee down. Right to meet the left. Inhale up. Exhale to break. So, let's try that one more time. This time, just focus on your breath. For those that know what they're doing, you can close your eyes and deep inside your body. Inhale. Exhale, forward and down. Roll up. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot all the way down. Retain for plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Forward and up to cobra. Full cobra this time. Lower the forehead, tuck the toes, up to the knees to down your dog. Right foot forward, left knee down. Left to meet the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, prayer. Same thing, left side. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot all the way back. Plank. Knees, chest, chin. Cobra, relax the top of the feet. Lower yourself, tuck the toes, knees to downward dog. Left foot forward, right to meet the left, inhale up, exhale to pray. This comes from the front to the back, a few breaths, four to six breathing. Remember this breath sequence, inhale four, sustain the breath for two, exhale for six. Notice your heart rate immediately begins to slow down. Nervous system calms down. So now we're going to do a few more rounds with modifications, hands in prayer. Do what you can. Inhale up. Exhale forward and down. Right foot all the way back, knee down. Relax the top of the right foot. That means the top of the right foot is in contact with your mat. Place your hands one on top of the other on your left knee. Square up your chest at the front edge of the mat. Find your balancing points. And prepare yourself for pressing them. Interlace your fingers, the bottom and index finger up. And sweep the arm, the upper arms behind the ears, lower the shoulders, and lengthen from your fingertips all the way to the toes on the right foot. Breathe. Slowly release and transition with your left arm down on the mat, your left forearm pressing against your left calf. And if you can, plant the sole of your right foot there, raise the right knee. Sweep the right arm up. Look to the right arm. Stay here. Take a half bind. The back of the right hand, push it against your low back. Look over your right shoulder. And a full bind, just push your fingertips down to the earth on the right side and sweep the left arm underneath. Hold on to your fingertips. Look over the right shoulder. Whatever is in your practice, including leaving your knee down. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Release your bind. Bring your knee down if it's up. And then come into warrior two arms. Check. Push your right fingertips into the wall behind you. 
Push your left fingertips into the wall in front. Raise and turn your chin. Look over your left shoulder. And make sure you have a right angle with your left knee. Stay here. Feel the strength of the warrior. Your arms are in warrior two pose. And now turn. Be looking at the left finger. And lock your elbow on the outside of your right knee. Hands in prayer. Thumbs touching the center of your chest. Use your counter forces. I'm pushing my right elbow against my knee. I'm pushing my right toes down to the earth. I'm looking over the left shoulder. Breathe. If you're feeling strong today, look down towards your left toes. Raise your right knee up. Straighten the right leg. And then reset yourself, looking over the left shoulder. Two more breaths. Turn your head, look to the left foot, and with some momentum, come up to stand. The more of the two. Left knee over the left ankle. Take it deep today. Let's move the right foot back. Open the hips to the long edge of the back. Warrior two. Check your arms. Turn your head. Close your eyes. Feel the strength of the warrior. Two more breaths. Try to commit this pose to memory. And now, very slowly and under control, warrior three. Just turn yourself, your chest, to the front edge of the mat. Begin to move your arms alongside the body. Stick your landing. Balance on your left foot. An imaginary friend just appeared and is pulling your right ankle towards the wall behind. Arms alongside the body, and I'm looking straight down. Holding a beach ball in front of me, keep looking straight down. Drop the ball, no longer interested, and hold on to my left hand. Once I feel like I have good balance, some days I do, some days I don't, I can play around, humble warrior, skydive, airplane, and if you feel like you're gonna crash land, just index fingers to the earth, stabilize yourself, come back to warrior two. Breathe. Humble warrior. Let's warm up a little further for humble warrior. Let's bring both feet together. Widen the stance. I'm sorry, bring both feet have parallel with each other. Widen the stance. Hands on your hips. And very slowly pivot at the waist and come down. Be gentle. And bring your hands. First your fingertips pointing forward and plant them directly underneath your shoulders. Push your palms down. Breathe. And if you can, turn your hands so your fingertips are facing the back. And push. Very good if you have carpal tunnel. Stretches out the wrist. Begin to lower the head. Breathe. Turn your fingertips back forward and walk your hands over to the right foot. Straighten the left leg, stretch the inside of the left leg. Up and over to the left. Up and over to the right. Up and over to the left. Come back to center. Over the head, hands on your head. Pivot at the waist. Come back up slowly. Turn your left foot so the toes are facing the front edge of the mat. Warrior two. Check. Humble warrior. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Push the knuckles down to the earth and squeeze the shoulder blade together. And while I'm doing this, I'm bending my left knee and I'm ready now to lower my left shoulder on the inside, my head traveling down to the long edge of the mat. Raise your arms up off the back, knuckles to the sky. Breathe. Stay there for a few breaths. Looking good. 
Feel the stretch. Keep bending the left knee. Keep lowering the head. Gentle release back to warrior two. Make sure your left knee is over your left ankle. And any adjustments you need to make, and keep checking this right arm. Has a mind of its own. Peaceful warrior. Push your fingertips on the left hand forward and sweep it back with your left knee bent and your right palm sliding down the side of your right leg. Stretch the right side. Eyes closed. I'm seeing triangles. I straighten my legs, straighten my arms and slide my left palm down the left leg, right hand up to the sky and I go up with the right hand. To revolve this triangle, I want to increase my balance, so I widen my stance by moving my right foot to the right edge, and I take my right arm and hand and hold on to the outside of my left ankle, and I sweep my left arm up, look to the left thumb. Breathe. Try to straighten your legs the best you can. And then under control, back to warrior two. Take it deep. Arms up. Now for those that want to take something a little more difficult, let's go into the next one, with the half moon. So if you have a block, that's good, but you don't necessarily need a block. But if you do have one at home, and if you don't have a block, maybe a shoe box or something that works, and bring Left palm down, your right hand on your right hip, and begin to stack your hips, one on top of the other. You can adjust the block and adjust your palm. You can also put your palm right down to the floor. Once you feel like you have your balance and your right toes are going up to the sky, look to the right thumb. And when you're ready, rotate, switch. Right palm down, pivot the left heel around, left toes up. Left hand up to the sky. And release. Back to warrior two. Arms up. Check. Left foot over to the left edge. Let's just take a high lizard, rock up and down. Maybe release all the tension now in the hips. Feel like we need it. Sweep the left leg back to plank. Knees, chest, and chin down to the earth. Forward and up to cobra. Forehead down, tuck the toes, downward dog. Everything you did on the right side, we'll do on the left. Right foot forward, left knee down, relax the top of the left foot, hands on the right knee. Crescent move, sweep the arms up. Find your balance. Release the palm down. Push the arm against the calf. Plant the sole of the left foot. Lengthen the leg. Sweep the arm up. Take your half bind or your full bind. Whatever you did before. Or you can stay right here if you're just beginning. Some days I just like to stay here. Check in with your body, see how you feel. Release the bind, lower the knee if it's up. Warrior two arms, and check. Knee over the ankle. Look straight down to the fingertips on the right. Breathe. Turn, lock the elbow on the outside of the knee, hands in prayer, thumbs to the sternum. Stay here, breathe. If you raise the left, right knee, raise the left knee. And then look over the right shoulder. Whatever is in your practice. Two more breaths. Look down to the right foot, swing around. Stand to warrior two, take the left foot back. Toes facing the front edge on the right, arms up. Warrior two, turn your head. Knee over the ankle. 
Check that back on. Breathe. Warrior three. Balance your posture. Turn your chest to the front edge. Balance on your right foot. Your friend is pulling your left heel into the wall behind as your arms sweep alongside your body. Look straight down. And then play with the beach ball in front of you, but don't stop looking. Straight down. And then drop it and hold on to your ankle. And then play. Come to Warrior with the arms. Skydive, airplane, stabilize. Step back to Warrior 2. Check. Humble Warrior. Interlace the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, push the knuckles down to the earth. Bend the right knee, right shoulder on the inside. Head down to the long edge of the mat. Raise your arms up off your back, knuckles to the sky. Release. Warrior two. Jack. Turn the right palm up, push the fingertips forward for peaceful warrior. Sweep the arm back. Remember, your right knee is over your right ankle. Close your eyes. Triangles. See the straight lines. See the triangles. Find your balance. Fingertips to the sky. Breathe. Revolve your triangle. Take a little hop to the left edge with the left foot. Right hand, hold on to the. Sorry, this is my left hand. Hold on to the outside of your right ankle. Right arm up. As you breathe and release the tension, you'll be able to increase the twist. Release. Warrior two. to the earth and a block, toes on the left to the sky. Stack the hips, one on top of the other. Once you have your balance, left hand up, look to the left thumb. And then when you're ready, revolve the triangle, Re uh, rotate your half moon. Switch hands, and come up. And you see there, I had to make some adjustments. Came out of it, but then I went back into the revolution there. So here we go. Warrior two. Almost done. Bring the right foot over. High lizard. When you do high lizard, both feet are parallel. You're looking forward. Concentrate on the inside of the right hip. Feel the tension release. And sweep the right leg back to plank. Exhale. Knees, chest, and chin. Forward and up to Cobra. Now tuck your toes and let's push all the way back to Hero's Pose. Four, two, six, breathing. Let's take a moment and just observe how the body feels. With your eyes closed, go deep inside the body and observe the effect that your physical practice is having on your body. And with your toes tucked, feel the stretch, the bottom of the feet, the front of the thighs, and the top of the head is over the sacrum. And now, we're going to do the dolphin for our inversion. So let's bring ourselves up onto our knees and bring our elbows down with the arms like sphinx arms. Both forearms are parallel, elbows are directly under the shoulders, my toes are tucked, and I'm raising my hips up to the sky. My head is not touching the mat. I'm pushing down on my forearms and I'm allowing my nose to travel towards my toes. Breathe. As long as the head is lower than the heart, Gain all the health benefits of a headstand. 
This inversion allows you to do that. If you want to go up into your headstand and you're comfortable with that, go right ahead, but I don't want anybody breaking anything in their house or they come crashing down into the cadenza or something like that. So just maybe just stay here for the time being. Two more breaths. Slowly come down to your knees and walk yourself back. Heroes pose. I do want to show you one thing. It's just a partial tripod headstand. For those that are learning how to go up into their headstand, let's come up onto our soles of our feet with the toes like in a squat position and come down like this with your elbows pressing the inside of your knees. Hands in prayer. Soles of the feet are flat, so just come back and forth, adjust. And when you're ready, bring the palms down with the fingers spread apart, thumbs facing each other. And then bring the top of your head down in between your hands as best you can. And then roll up onto the inside of your knees and stay here and try it. Now if you're against the wall, you can raise yourself up and your toes to the sky. But I'm just going to stay here for today. Stay for another breath. And then come off your head. Back to squat. Hands in prayer. That was your tripod. And I just want to remind everybody who has been practicing along with us about the crow pose. So just bring your palms down. And the most important part, look past the front edge of the mat. Right now I'm looking at those blocks in front of my mat and rolling up onto my elbows. Bring both toes together. And come back down. Hands in prayer. Let's come back down to our knees and let's just take a resting breath in child's pose. Relax the top of the feet, hands reaching towards the ankles, space between your eyebrows, and third eye in contact with the earth. And just visualize as you look into that space between your eyebrows, those beautiful nighttime sky colors and let's balance the energy. Begin to see indigos, purples, and dark blues, size of a candlelight in the space between your eyebrows. More breaths. Raise ourselves up, sweep the legs forward, and take a well deserved rest in Savasana for two breaths. So, do you get into Savasana, the legs are the width of the mat, arms alongside the body, arms facing up? Just notice. The effect that your physical practice has on the body. All parts of the back of the body are so easily in contact with the earth. Feels good. Breathe. Inhale, relaxation. Exhale, release. One more immersion. Get ready for our sleeping tiger or shoulder stand. We did the sleeping tigers earlier in our warm-up. You can take a block if you wish, once again, or a pillow that you have on your couch or the bed. Put it under your hips. You can do with or without. Raise the soles of the feet up, arms up. Sleeping tiger. Close your eyes, visualize the beautiful daytime sky colors in the throat region. Everyone sleeping tigers, stay here. You can do it without the pillow the block, stay here. Make sure your shoulders are in contact with the earth. Everyone else, let's come up into our shoulder stand. Roll up onto your shoulders, not your neck. Let's make some initial adjustments. Bring our elbows, I'm sorry, not the elbows. Bring your knees down to your forehead. And walk your elbows closer together and walk your hands further down towards your shoulder blades. When you make those adjustments, 
Raise your toes up to the sky. Straight line as best you can from your toes to your chest. Stay here. Breathe. If you have a plowing practice, you can take your toes down to the floor behind you, support the back. For those that want to practice the plow, just scissor your legs up and down. One down, and then eventually both toes will come down to the earth. Whatever is in your practice. Two more breaths. And begin. If you have a block underneath you, take it out. You can either cartwheel one foot down and then the other, or roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Come all the way down and hug your knees into the chest. Roll from side to side. Release all the tension. Let it go. direction. Legs are out straight. Come into fish pose. In fish pose, let's hide the arms underneath the body. So we rock from side to side. Put the right arm under, the left arm under, lock your thumbs together initially. Legs are out straight. Now plant your palms flat. Unlock your thumbs. That's what I do. And then eventually, you start to walk yourself up like this onto your elbows and forearms and with the chest going to the sky, lengthen the neck, lower the head down to the earth, no weight on the back of the head. If you want to take it to its full extent, bring the lower lip over the upper lip. Breathe through the highest lobes of the lungs. Clear out all those lobes where the toxins are trapped. Two more breaths. And release. Roll off the arms. Hug the knees into the chest. Circles to one direction and then the other direction. And then rock from front to back and come up to sit. Sit up tall. Put a slight bend to your knees and just begin to relax. Just as a reminder for those that do come to class regularly, letting go of practice. So while we do this next set of poses, let's begin to let go. Inhale your first name with a positive affirmation. Let's make it perfect health today. Inhale, so I'm inhaling Michael, perfect health. I hold it to the highest levels of the lungs and I feel it. I feel the sensation of what it is to be healthy. And I send that sensation to every cell in the body. On the exhale, I say the two words, let go. Letting go of everything that will block me from achieving perfect health. So everybody together, inhale up. First name, positive affirmation, hold it and feel it. Exhale, let go. So don't pull on anything, just let your head Travel down, let your chest be resting on your knees, relax your elbows, and as you continue to let it go practice, you'll notice the body slowly comes down closer and closer to the earth. Breathe, let go. Two more breaths. Roll ourselves up. Extend the left leg out and bring the sole of the right and the inside of the left. Inhale up. Exhale the center of your chest over the left leg and practice letting go. Relax the elbows. Notice the forehead it easily comes down to the earth. Closer and closer to the knee. Push your right knee down. Feel the hip opening. Breathe. And gently release. Roll yourself up. 
change legs, right leg out, left sole of the foot on the inside, inhale up, exhale, let go. Relax, left knee to the earth, forehead down to the knee in each breath. Gently roll up. Let's bring the soles of our feet together like this. Hold on to the outside of the toes. Butterfly the knees up and down. Lower the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale forward and down. Nose to toes. Let the elbows slide down the shin with each breath. Release and let go. Two more breaths. Gently roll yourself up for our final spinal twist. Keep the left leg out straight. Bring the sole of the right foot on the outside calf of the left leg. Sit up tall, take your right palm and plant it as close to the spinal column on the mat as you can get it and push your arm against the middle of your back. Sit up tall. Find that posture where you really know you're sitting up straight and tall. Inhale the left arm up, reach for the sky. Exhale, twist, and wrap the arm around the leg and look over the right shoulder. With each exhale breath, enhance the twist a little bit more. Use your counter forces. Pull on the right knee. Push down on the right arm. Push the forearm against the spine. Breathe, release. Two more breaths. Slow release. Right leg out, left sole on the outside, left palm centered, forearm pushed, right arm up. Inhale, exhale, release. And twist. And breathe. Sit up tall. Two more breaths. Slowly release. Let both legs be out straight. Palms up. And very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lower yourself down to the earth for your final relaxation. Widen the feet to the width of the mat. Arms alongside the body, palms facing up. And just observe the effect of your physical practice, your breathing, your mindfulness, all have on your body. Notice the back of the body, how easily all parts of the back of the body are able to pull energy from the center of the earth in contact with the earth. Continue to practice letting go. Inhale, first name. Say perfect health. Feel it. Send it to every cell in the body. Exhale, release. And say the two words, let go. Ideally, good to stay in Savasana for at least seven minutes. And now that seven minutes has passed so quickly, let's begin to bring new life to your feet and toes and fingers. Position. Get yourself comfortable. You can put a block or a pillow underneath your head. You can use the power of your mind to control your breath. Inhale into the base of your spine. Draw new life and energy up the breath. This, through the spinal passage to the top of the head. Exhale back to the base of the spine. When you're ready, Eyes closed, slowly come up to sit. You have a 
block for a bolster or a pillow. Sit up onto the pillow. It's always good to get the hips higher than the knees. Cross your legs. Sit up tall. Thumb and index finger together. Why do we do this? It helps to retain the energy. No energy escaping the body. Bring the back of the hands out to the knees. Top of the head over the sacrum. Sit up tall. Breathe to the highest levels. Exhale completely. And just observe in silence the effect that your practice is having on your body. Notice the difference from when you first started until now. The heart rate has slowed down, the nervous system is calm, stress has floated and vaporized away from the body. All the cells in the body have been recharged, energized. The battery of the body, the solar plexus, on full charge, and your immune system, most important has been strengthened. And before we end, just make a gentle fist and tap the sternum. It's called the Yogi Tap. It boosts your immune system even further. It wakes up the thymus. You can feel some goosebumps getting all over the body. And do this as often as you can, especially with the kids. Three shanties for world peace, which we'll say quietly to ourselves. Hands in prayer. Inhale. Oh. May we all be free from suffering. May we all have as much health and happiness as the body requires. And may all of our positive affirmations be fulfilled. Thank you for participating with me in this practice. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Hope to see everyone soon. Tune in again tomorrow. We'll have a new video, hopefully every day for you. Stay well. And thank you.